Canada Street used to be full of run-down and derelict houses. But not any longer. Since DIY SOS's big build, the street has been transformed. And now the team are back to convert the one last empty house into a home for Army veteran Simon Flores and his three children. It was my second tour of Iraq in uh, 2006, Optelic 9. We were checking the area. Uh, it was uh, six hours had gone. We were coming back in and they must have been waiting for us. And then they set it off with a uh, command wire and, uh, you know, I lost my foot initially with the, uh, the explosion because we were in vehicles at the time. There's so many veterans out there, you know, that, you know, that are needing help as well. But to be chosen, was, it's just simply amazing. Once his home is finished, the street, which is home to both injured military veterans and civilians, will be complete. He really is a top lad. All he wants is somewhere to be with his children that's safe and secure uh, and has room for them all where he can actually do normal things that a parent wants to do with their kids. So, you know, playing football with the boys, or like cooking, he wants to get stuck in and do things like that. So we need to give him the facilities to do that. He's gone on off and looked after us, got himself injured in the process. He, he's not looking for a handout, he's not looking for charity, he's not looking for sympathy. He just wants an opportunity. Well, we can do that. Various charities and organisations have supported DIY SOS throughout the project, including Walking with the Wounded. And what we're actually doing is we sit down, we listen to the needs of those individual uh, veterans and some of their families as well, making sure that when they identify their needs that we can assist them. So they're settled into, the, a lot of the guys have settled into the, the area really well and there's a big community spirit here now. Most of the veterans have lived on the street for a whole year now, including Lamin Mane. In Canada Street is, is a street we give opportunity to people to, you know, you know, live together and share good experience together and be there for each other. In a nutshell, that's what the street is all about, you know. Simon and his family move in next week once the house has been completely overhauled. Grace Pascoe, Forces News, Manchester.